Hello everyone, I am Dr. Praveen and in this video, we are going to break down the three most important conditions related to tooth pain. The first one, reversible pulpitis. Whenever the pulp is irritated, the pulp can still heal. It is called reversible pulpitis. Irreversible pulpitis when the pulp is damaged beyond the repair. An apical periodontitis is when the infection spreads beyond the tooth into the surrounding bone. And we also discuss the right questions to ask your patients and how the patients will describe their pain and symptoms in each scenario. By the end of the video, you will be able to quickly identify and differentiate between these conditions. Let's begin. Reversible pulpitis. What is it? Reversible pulpitis is mild inflammation of the pulp due to any decay, deep fillings or exposed dentin. The pulp is still healthy and if treated early, it can recover. So what are the questions you should ask to your patients? Where is the pain? Can you point to the tooth? If the pain cannot be localized, then it suggests early pulpitis. So you ask, when does the pain start? So is it triggered by something like cold or sweets or hot coffee, cold coffee, whatever? Then how long does the pain last? Does it go away immediately after the stimulus is removed? And you find out how the patient is describing it. Generally, doctor, my tooth hurts when I drink something cold, but the pain stops in a few seconds. It's not there all the time, only when I eat or drink something cold or sweet. So what does this mean? The pain is short and triggered by either cold or sweets. There is no spontaneous pain, which means it doesn't come on its own. So the tooth can still be saved with the filling or any fluoride treatment. The second is irreversible pulpitis. What is it? In irreversible pulpitis, the inflammation has progressed and the pulp cannot heal itself. The nerve inside the tooth is severely damaged or inflamed. So what are the questions you should ask? Where is the pain? Can you point to the tooth? The pain is difficult to localize. It indicates a deep nerve involvement. So when does the pain start? Does it come suddenly or does it happen even without eating or drinking? So how long does the pain last? So does it linger after the stimulus is removed? What is the character of the pain? Is it sharp, throbbing or radiating? How will the patient describe it? Is the pain comes during sleep? Yes. The doctor, the patient will say, doctor, my toothache has come suddenly and it lasts for a longer time. Even when I'm not eating or drinking anything, the cold drinks make it worse and the pain lingers for minutes or hours. It gets worse at night when I sleep and sometimes even the painkillers don't help me. So I feel like my heartbeat is in my tooth. What does this mean? Spontaneous pain. Pain starts without a trigger. So lingering pain, the pain doesn't go away without a stimulus and it becomes worse at night because increased blood flow in a lying position. It might radiate to the ear, jaw or head. What can be done? The, the tooth needs root canal treatment because the pulp is irreversibly damaged. If untreated, this infection will spread beyond the tooth and it becomes apical periodontitis. What is it? This is when the infection is spread beyond the pulp into the surrounding bone at the root tip. So what questions you should ask here? Where is the pain? Can you point to the exact tooth? At this stage, the pain is well localized because the infection has reached the bone. Does it hurt when you bite? When biting indicates that inflammation is in the periapical tissues. So how will the patient describe it? Doctor, my tooth doesn't hurt all the time, but when I bite down, there is a sharp pain. It feels like a pressure or a deep ache around my tooth. I can point to exactly where it hurts. So what does this mean? The pain is localized, the tooth hurts on biting and chewing, and the cold test may not elicit a response because the pulp is already necrotic. So what can be done? A root canal treatment can still save the tooth. If there is an abscess, drainage may be needed. In severe cases, tooth extraction is required. Final thoughts. To summarize, reversible pulpitis, the pain is short, triggered by cold, and stops quickly. The tooth can be saved with a filling or a fluoride varnish. Irreversible pulpitis, the pain is spontaneous, lingers after the cold, stimulus is gone, worsens at night, and needs a root canal. In apical periodontitis, the pain is localized, felt on biting, and means the infection has spread beyond the tooth. Early diagnosis and treatment are the keys to prevent complications. If you or your patients experience tooth pain, don't ignore it. Seek treatment before it gets worse. If you found this video useful, make sure to like it, share and subscribe.